Yeah, I'm getting it, so I'm just going to put it out. So it's like this person. I'm getting that. Somebody was interested. Okay, we have three people in this situation. One person is somebody that you knew, two people you barely knew. It could have been two people that you knew or one person that you didn't know. You just have to take it where it resonates. So one person, they got behind the scenes and um, they could have knew somebody that you knew. Okay, let me, let me just, let me start over. It's two people that are friends. One person is an ex-friend that you cut off, somebody that's toxic. And um, they were envious of you, they were jealous of you. So one of those two friends, say if you're a female and then um, you cut off a toxic female energy that was like a friend of yours or an associate, really wasn't a friend. This is somebody that was a hater all the time. And you just didn't, you know, you knew, but you just, you know, kind of cut that person out. And um, this could have been somebody that was like in your family or somebody that was like family. But you weren't really associated with that person because they were low vibrational. And it's like you just cut that person off completely. Whatever little contact that you were with, with that person, it was always negative energy. So you cut that person off and whoever, one person was interested in you. And, um... Their friend, whoever the, the two dudes are, the two guys in the situation, their friend knew this person that you cut off in some type of way. And um, they were interested in you too. So they went and they started asking questions about you to this jealous person. And that made them envious. They got mad. And they were, you know, possibly wanting that person to be attracted to them and things like that. And it's like that person started asking about you. Um, this made this person mad. So they made up a whole bunch of lies and rumors and gossip and slander on you. And you don't even know this person. This person don't know you and they don't even know that person like that. They could have just been associated with that person, you know, some type of way. And they didn't really know them for who they were. And they definitely didn't know that they were jealous of you. This person would come off this way. And they the type that wouldn't need to be jealous of nobody. So it came off as if whatever they were saying about you was true. But what they didn't know is that this person was a hater. They were envious of you. They were jealous of you, mad because people were interested in asking about you because they know who you are. They know um, your light ear always irritated their demons. So this friend went back and told the person that was interested in you. And they knew this person was a hater. It's like they caught on, but they were attracted to you too. So it's like they went back to the friend that was interested in you, which didn't know that they were, you know, two people were attracted. They didn't tell each other. And one of them intentionally did this to hurt the other person because they didn't want them to have you. They were attracted to you by that time. <laughs> yeah, let's get this going. <laughs> yeah, King of Pentacles is here. So, yeah. What else about this person? <laughs> And then page of wands. So whoever this person is, they wanted to contact you themselves. They wanted to um, like get to know you and stuff like that. Whoever this King of Pentacles is. This could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And um, they wanted to communicate with you or something like that. They asked this person like, hey, I'm interested in this person. Who was that? Or something like that. You could have been with this person. And they didn't know that... Um, this person seeing you or something like that. And they could have been like, well, who is that? And who is that person that you were with or something like that? And this intimidated this person. <laughs> they were pissed off that this person asked about you because the plan was for you not to be seen. So this could be a friend of yours that was just petty. Y'all would go out and stuff like that. And they will always like not want you to be seen. Because there was something about you intimidated them. Some, the way you looked or the way you dressed or something like that. Y'all were just totally different. And this person will always be secretly trying to compete with you or look like you or act like you. To, you know, come off as if they were you. Like, you know, have you in their energy. And then they will, you know, do, you know, as you around a person a lot, y'all do stuff similar. And it was like, you would, this person would try to, you know, rub off. They couldn't rub their self off on you no matter how long you knew this person. But they were always, you were rubbing off onto them because of who you are. So it was like, as you were around this person, it's like if you, you have a, a friend that you know is very toxic and they do a lot of toxic stuff with other friends. And when they come around you, they know better. They know not to, you know, do that type of stuff around you, that toxicity. This is the type of friend that that was. 
So they wanted to make you look bad. And it's like every time they came around you, they were a totally different person than what they were to their, you know, other friends. And, um, but they would talk about them like, you know, bad. But they knew this person was interested in you and they knew this person was, you know, they asked about you. <laughs> they just intimidated this person. Yeah, seven of cups until they were confused. They placed some type of illusion around that person so this person can look at you in, in a certain lights that was not your own. <laughs> They could have seen you as a person that had multiple options. A lot of people were, you know, asking about you. Well, who was that? And this and that. They played some type of illusion around that person quick. Yeah, six of swords is here. Yeah, they wanted this person to sail away from you. They wanted this person to um, be confused as to why you cut them off, why you sailed away from them, because they no longer serve purpose in your life. Yeah, ace of cups is here. They knew this person had love for you or they were in love with you or you just sailed away from this person because you know your worth. You're someone that loves yourself. That person don't. So it's like you knew your worth. You started loving, you know, loving yourself more just by clearing that person out of your energy because they were toxic. Yeah, four swords is here. They thought that you they, they thought they had an isolated you. People um would look at you as somebody that was um they could have made it seem like you were sick or something like that. And that's why they isolate themselves from you. But you isolated yourself from this person. This person could have been sick. It's like whatever they said about you, it was, you know, them, but tenfold. And they confused people because they wanted people to sail away from you. They wanted anybody that was interested in you, that had love for you, to isolate themselves from you. <laughs> But yeah, they, they were angry. Knight of Swords is here. They were pissed off and mad. They spread a lot of lies, gossip, rumors, slander, and all type of stuff. And um, you didn't know any of this was going on, so you were just working by yourself, working on whatever business you you know had or whatever you were doing. You were just working hard. You worked better by yourself. And it was like you. This person knew what you were working on. They knew you had a new beginning. Ace of Wands, and they knew that you were someone that was very talented. Queen of Wands. Mysterious. You were working on stuff, and people didn't even know what you were working on. So this person didn't know what to expect from you. So they thought by confusing a lot of people, lying on you, out of hate and jealousy, they would do something to have you isolated in some type of way. Or out of anger, because you cut them off in their toxicity. And it was like you cut this person off. It was, it was because of their toxicity, but they were, you know, be mad at you and they wouldn't say anything. As I say, you would be around this person and they didn't want you to be seen like they would, you know, different stuff like that. It's just, it's sad is what I'm getting. This person was just envious of you and they couldn't hide it anymore. As they started seeing a lot of people attracted to you and you had no choice but to cut them off. The energy wasn't right. You could tell this person was envious of you, how you looked and things like that. And it's like every time they came around you, they were looking at you in a certain way, looking all up at your house and stuff. You just knew. And, um, yeah, they knew that you were working on something and you had a new beginning. A lot of people were attracted to you. You were very talented, gifted, very ambitious, very goal oriented and things like that. A leader. And um, they didn't know what to expect out of you. So they thought they were confused. Whoever this person is that wanted to come towards you and they had love for you. Yeah, you're someone that, you know, this person, you were manifesting this person is what I'm getting. A musician is here. Yeah, because this person was attracted to you. They were watching you and things like that. And then Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, this person see you as their ultimate happiness. This person wants the ultimate happiness with you. Whoever this friend is, whatever they said about you, it just made them be you know, seen as somebody that was um, envious of the way you looked, envious of how you work, just envious of who you are as a person because you had a later situation to rest with them. And they thought they were going to confuse this person because you had to sail away from them or these people. Yeah, this person wants to be in a home with you. Four of Wands is here. This person wants to build a family with you. Ten of Cups and Four of Wands. Yeah, no matter what this person did, you manifested your ultimate happiness. You've manifested someone that you're going to be able to build a stable foundation with and be happy with. Somebody that's going to be in love with you. This Ace of Cups is the start of a new love relationship. 
Yeah, this was destined to happen. The will of fortune is here. And it's like... <laughs> so it's like this. Now that... It's like that friend that went back to the other friend. This was a friend that was close to them. So it, this could be the person that... As I said, it's two, two guys. And then it was one ex-friend of yours. Or it was a guy and then two females. Just take it where it resonates. But what I'm getting is it was two guys that were, uh, or two people, I'll just say, because we just reading overall energy. The other one didn't want um, the person that was interested in you to know that that person lied. They knew that person lied, but they didn't want them to know. They want them to keep believing that. They're like, oh, okay, they got somebody that's petty like them, but they were secretly petty. They didn't want that person to know that they were petty and they were interested in you. So it's like that person that's in love with you, they needed to find out they had a friend of me, you know, around them too. You hadn't already cut this friend of me off of yours, but they needed to cut off the person that they were attached to, but they kept it hidden like a lot. Yeah, they kept it hidden. They didn't want that person to know that they was interested in you. <laughs> yeah. The death card is here. They wanted that person to put an end to the situation. This could have caused this person to put an end to the situation. This person could have ran around and made it seem like you didn't... Yeah, this person is somebody that's not good for you and this and that. And they were interested in you. Yeah, they were trying to block this person off from you, Seven of Wands. They were trying to create blockages. They didn't want this person to experience a rebirth with this death card. Mm-mm. They did not want... They want to create blockages for this person. Yeah. Something backfired onto them. And it made this person, you know, put an end to something. Death card talks about endings. Excuse me. And then Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they blocked this person off. They realized this person was distracting them. And this could be past, present, or future. This person was distracting them because they were a Knight of Wands energy. And they were very toxic. They were binding and blinded to the devil. You know, they had some type of entity attachment on them. And they will always be in this, you know, this quick to have sex with anybody. And that person needed to put an end to a situation with that friend. Because as I say, when you, as I was just saying, you know, when you're around people and you're close to them, their energy rub off on you. So it's like you could be someone. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. But most of the time it do. You know, it's like peer pressure or influence. That's not, neck, you know, that's not good influence. Some good, some bad. And this person was someone that was bad influence. They wanted to keep this person like in a player energy. Keep this person somebody that was like non-committal. That's in this Knight of Wands energy like them because they were interested in you. They'd be damned if this person get to you, settle down with you, have build a you know happy home with you, and they wanted you. They wanted that with you, but they kept it hidden. They didn't want that person to know. Mm -mm. This person intentionally went back to this person, this friend, and told them a lie. And added more stuff on to make it seem like whatever somebody that knew you, that you were attached to, was speaking the truth. But they knew. So it's like two people clicked up together with the same agenda. One was envious of you and the other one was envious of the person that wanted to connect with you. So it was somebody on their end and on your end hating. These were silent haters. Yeah, justice is here and then the world is here. Because it's like this person didn't want them to know like, dang, you know, if this person openly was just like, yeah, you should see this or see that. And they was, you know, in shock. They didn't want that person to know after they had admitted that they had feelings for you. They didn't want this friend that was interested in you, the person that had feelings for you to know that they did too. So it's like instead of, you know, opening up and saying, well, no, I got feelings for this person, this and that. Or I want to talk to this person. They dirtied up your name with this person that you had to cut off that was toxic. Yeah, and it, it has made this person, you know, complete a cycle with that person. The world is here and then justice is here. It needed to end. You already knew that you had a friend of me on your side. You know, some type of person that was secretly competing with you, jealous of you, envious of you. You just can't have that energy around you. No matter how long you have been knowing that person. And that's for everybody. You know, nobody wants to have someone that you genuinely, you know, love, care about and want to help. Be sitting back secretly at the five of ones or secretly in competition or hating on you. Secretly trying to make other people be confused about who you are because they're not confident with who they are. 
And that's the same energy that this person was in that, you know, wanted to come towards you. They realized this person came in with this negative gossip, this knight of swords, just like this other person to have you isolated. And they will slow that person down from coming to commit to you. Build with you. Build a relationship with you. Two people that love each other unconditionally. So it's like, yeah, they needed to know that they needed to cut off whoever this friend was that was just obsessed. They want to have sex with you. This person didn't have no type of feelings towards you. This was just all Knight of Wands type of energy. They, you know, wanted to have sex with you. Come in and out of your life whenever they wanted to. And they're, you know, grew some type of obsession towards you because of how that person felt about you. But this person was in love and this person was in lust. Yeah, Tower, it's here. And it's like they're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. They created Tower moments for themselves because... Instead of speaking the truth, like, yeah, this person is lying. I think such and such a hater. You know, stuff like that. They came in and they, they, they fed into it. So they wanted that person to feed into it because they didn't want that person to come towards you because they wanted to come in quick and have sex with you. They were obsessed with that. And the minute that this friend told, the minute that this person that's in love with you told their friend that they was attracted to you, they started being obsessed with you. They started picturing their self having sex with you. And stuff like that. So they made it seem like they knew somebody that knew you. And they had to ran with whatever gossip that they was told. And they added on a whole bunch of stuff. So for a while, that person that's in love with you, they were isolated away from you because of the gossip. They were trying to piece different stuff together because they were confused. And it's like they had to piece together that these are people that were trying to slow them down. Create blockages. People that were jealous of you, hating on you. And wanted you to go through tower moments. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. People that you have been knowing for a while. And this person, they wants to reunite with you. Six of Cups. Yeah, they realize this is somebody that you have been knowing for a long time. And they did a whole bunch of stuff in a sneak. It's like you knew somebody for a long time. And they did this, you know, did some stuff and thought they got away with it. And then they knew somebody. So it's two different people. One was on your end. One was on their end. And they met up. And they both was at the Seven of Swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. One person was against you and the other person was against, um, they were against that person, but they didn't show it. They made it seem like they were against you. Like, well, this person told me this and that. And this person been knowing this person. This person looked like, and they knew out the gate that this person was a hater. But they, they thrived off of that, you know, but they didn't know it would bring them to this, you know, that person that they were lying to and they had been knowing for a long time. They didn't know that that was, you know, manifesting them to end a cycle out. Because they let whoever that toxic person is that was, you know, envious of you and jealousy, they let their energy cloud them. They were already in this uh, toxic energy being envious and jealous, but they hid it. So it's like as they got attached to that person, it, it just showed that seeing them for, showed who they really were. People started seeing them for who they are. And this person ended a cycle with them. They didn't care how long they had been knowing that person. They seen this person as a hater. Somebody that had been secretly hating out the gate and could not wait. And they looked at it as if you had haters on your team and they had haters on their team. If they had them, you know, stuff. Yeah. This had them weighed this person down. Ten of Wands is here. They, it, was, it was something that was through in their face that they weren't even looking at. You know, they never paid attention to this person secretly hating them. This was a silent hater, a secret hater. And this is somebody that they would least expect. And it's always that. You know, the devil is, can, can use anybody. And it's always somebody that you will least suspect, like, you know, somebody that, that's like a best friend that's envious of you. This is, how, this is how people were placed around us. To learn lessons so you can move forward. And this is the, you know, energy. You, you, it's like you already knew you were ahead of this person. So it's like you caught on quick and you start cutting people off isolating yourself from people and things like that and sailing away from people and start loving yourself more because you knew your worth you were just the type of person you knew these people were toxic and it was like you know you had to come to a point where i know these people are toxic and it's just making you look a certain way you can't keep that energy around you so you start loving yourself more instead of constantly pouring out love to these people to you know hoping that your energy would rub off on them but it didn't it rubbed off in a way where they were envious of you your light irritated their demons you will sit back and give this person advice to, you know, do this and do that a certain way. And, you know, in a positive way. And they were envious of that. 
They ran around and just wanted to be you instead of taking your advice, if you get what I mean. Yeah, Queen of Cups is here. You're someone that's very emotionally balanced. You're um, a loving, caring parent. Like, you take care of your kids. You pour out emotions and love to your kids and other people as well. Someone that's very kind-hearted. And this person wanted to make you look bad. And that was right up this their friend, Allie, because they like, okay, I want this person to look bad in that person's eyes because they just wanted to have sex with you. And they figure if they can't have sex with you, that person ain't coming towards you to, you know, build a relationship with you or anything. Mm -mm. They want to keep that person blocked off from you. They wanted that person to put an end to the situation. But as this person was away from you, you were divinely protected. Everything that was, you know, being done behind the scenes, it backfired and it caused that person to bring their relationship with that friend to an abrupt end. The death card is here. And they're sitting back at the nine of wands. Nervous. Well, all they had to do was tell the truth. It's like they messed up their friendship that they hadn't been close with that person out of hate and jealousy. They exposed their self for being a secret hater. And they didn't think it would go that way. So not only did that friend get exposed for trying to make you look bad out of hate and jealousy because they simply couldn't be you, they got exposed for sitting back hating on you and hating, basically hating on them. You and this person's relationship, things that y'all would build together. They were envious of that. It just backfired. Yeah, King of Wands is here. It made this person have more and more passion for you. Made this person just sitting back and, um, you know, want to come towards you. They set their eyes on you and they know what they want. Yeah, this person see you as a queen of cups. Yeah, they look at you as their two of cups. Somebody that they want to partner up with, they want to work with, and they want to exchange cups. Emotions. And a lot of people were sitting back jealous and envy. This is how this person looking at you and them. A lot of people were sitting back trying to sabotage you and them working together, partnering up, expressing emotions to each other. All the hate and jealousy and secretly competing. <laughs> yeah, you had people on your side that was envious and this person did too, but they didn't know. You knew. And you walked away from people and that person didn't know. They started going to different people, asking them, or they just went to this one person to ask them. Like, yeah, what do you think about this person? They made it to, well, okay, let me ask this person this and that. Let me see about, um, and it's like, whatever this person told them about you, they added a whole bunch of stuff on. They knew what this person was saying about you was not true. They knew this person was jealous of you, but they didn't want that person to know. So it's like that person and them were just sitting back watching you. And it was like this person sat back and talked about you like a dog, but they secretly wanted to have sex with you. Secretly wanted to come in and be intimate with you. And they're obsessed. This is sad. Yeah, the star card is here. This caused that person to heal. They look at you as someone that's a healer, spiritual teacher, someone that's very blessed and anointed. You don't even be around people. You attract a lot of attention. And this you are this person's wish fulfillment. This, per, this person only want you. The star card is here. It made this person only want you. This person got to be doing something right if all these people are envious of them is what I'm hearing. So it's like that made them feel like this person, you, you are someone that's like one of a kind. You're someone that um, everybody wanted to be and they couldn't be you so they wanted to sabotage you and you by yourself. So this person, like, this person got to be doing something right. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. It's like they wanted you to be stuck in your head, Eight of Swords. They did something to wrap you up or something like that as well. These people could have had you wrapped up in some type of legal situation with this Eight of Swords. And they wanted that. They figure if they couldn't get this person to look at you a negative way, do gossip and slander, they had you wrapped up some type of way in the justice system. And that didn't work. It is made this, yeah, and it was hidden. It was hidden. Because it's like whatever was being done to you behind the scenes, it was happening to that person. Yeah, it made this person cut off people. King of Swords is here. If you and this person share the same soul, it's like 
whatever they because okay so say if this friend they got behind the scenes and they were watching you in some type of way with that person that was interested in you they knew that the friend was watching you too but they didn't know that this person hadn't got behind the scenes after hacking your phone and doing a whole bunch of stuff and they made fraudulent statements on you with different people behind the scenes that that person would least expect and they wanted to make it seem like it was people that knew you that um did this because whatever gossip they came in and said about the about you they automatically knew that that person was lying they could have openly said that person is hating on them so they said let me try to wrap this person up in the justice system that was the wrong move if this person did something to try to have you wrapped up in a false case they're getting ready to, they, they they're sitting up um getting ready to go to physical jail for a long time and they possibly don't know it because they hid it so whatever is coming towards them that they're caught up in that's hidden they could have wrapped up your person in some type of situation because whatever they were saying about you they didn't believe it so it's like they're gonna make sure this person don't come towards you yeah and it's like as they wrap try to wrap you up some type of way in the justice system as they were still attached to that friend this person could have wrapped, you know, got wrapped up in some type of legal situation. And it caused this person to cut off a lot of people, be very cold, because they didn't know where it came from. You possibly didn't know where it came from. The people names that were in the statements that were against you were people that um, they made out to be somebody that was like close to you. And they could have wanted you to be fighting with these people, battling with these people, angry at this, and it didn't work. You're someone that's a high priestess. You knew this. You can read energy, so it's like you out the gate knew that it was somebody that you didn't even know. High Priestess. <laughs> yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. It's like all of your ancestors are High Priestess and gifted. And th this person, they didn't know who they were running up on in the spiritual realm. This person opened up a whole can of worms for theirself in the spiritual realm and the physical realm. And they don't even know. Yeah, nine of cups is here. They just sat back over indulging in toxicity, over indulging in the gossip, whatever they hadn't created behind the scenes. They were just sitting back happy. Nobody would never know. And this person had their been got caught up. <laughs> yeah, the lovers is here. They're also mad because the, you and this person see each other as wish fulfillment. So it's like not only is this person watching you as wish fulfillment, you could feel, you know, happy around that person or you know, see that person as wish fulfillment too. Yeah. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. It's like this person is going to be watching you and this person build. You see, this person is watching. And they're going to be watching. This person is somebody that could look older than what they are. And you and this person is in the middle. Whoever this energy is, they're going to be watching you and this person until they get old and gray. Be happy together. They're going to hear about the legacy that you and this person built. Yeah, the fool card is here. It's like it just made this person, you know, open up to this journey, this path, their destiny. Whatever was being done behind the scenes. Yeah, it was conflict. It was a lot of people at the five of ones with you, secretly trying to one up you, hating on you, wanted to be you because of the destiny and the purpose that you have, the journey that you're on. You moving towards a whole new path, a whole nother direction than what you were on. You left these people at the five of ones with their self and they didn't know. Yeah, secretly one up in each other, causing drama, chaos, and havoc for each other, not you. Yeah, you're an empress. You're someone that can embody every queen in the deck. You're someone that's sitting in your ten of pentacles. You've already built a legacy for yourself. You're still building. You're still creating. You're sitting back manifesting whatever it is you want out of life. You're a boss. And these are people that were sitting back trying to compete with you secretly where they would never compare. 